I spent another 24 hours building a fully functional Roblox simulator game. The link to the game is in the description if you would like to play. Enjoy the video. Okay, here's a list of what I want to get done in this video. Starting with number one, we definitely have to redo the map. First thing I did was I removed everything from the map. I thought it would be better to start fresh than to have a cluttered map and be overwhelmed. Then I tried something that I've never done before, adding volume to the border parts and adding extra accents to catch the player's eyes. I of course copy and pasted them around to fit the map border and I play tested to see how it looks in game. Oh, that is way better. I then did something new by having only one portal per world. This way the player would have to go to each world to access the next one. I then used a plugin called Launch Archidemies to add paths around the map that I know of course no other Roblox game has. Yes, I know, super unique. Then I put the Candyland portal in the slot that I made for it earlier. I did end up adding another path area because one corner of the map looked super empty. I put the shop into a place that I thought looked good so it would be easily accessible to the players. I then had to figure out what to do with the leaderboards. I tried a few different things but eventually landed on putting it at the side of a path so you don't have to go out of your way to see it anymore. I also added a time played leaderboard so people in my game play for a long time and I get more players. The last big thing I added to the map was of course the eggs. These were the last things I added only because I couldn't settle on a place to put them. Now that the map is done, it's time to move on to number 2 on the list. I really want to make some sort of prestige or rebirth feature so the players have more to do and bigger goals to accomplish. So I started making a prestige feature that when you press the button you would restart from 0 coins but get 100 emeralds in return, which is a new currency. And of course, it didn't work. And then this happened after three and a half hours. Yes! 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 Then I finished making the prestige GUI so it would look somewhat decent. Now we go to number three on our list. Make an emerald shop. This would provide players with a reason to actually prestige so they can get OP tools for the emeralds they obtain. I started by copy and pasting the shop and then moving it to a place that I liked on the side of a path. Then I recolored it and added a green crystal object on top to resemble an emerald. Then I made one new tool to go in the emerald shop which was the radioactive bucket which gives 250 coins per click. Now it's time for the last step on our list. Make a whole new world for the players to explore. Okay so I actually completely forgot to record this but we have the ice world here which is the new world that I made. It has one egg right now, which is the ice egg. And then I made this path. This is gonna be to the next world, which I'll make in a future video. Yes, I'm making this a series. And it's obviously ice themed with a bunch of dead trees I added. There will be more features coming soon because it's very bland, like no shop, no, no special things to come here specifically for, but that's really it for this world. That's all I really did. Of course, we have the portal home, and you have to go to Candyland to get to this world. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to press that like and subscribe button. Game link is in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.